Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. ASML has been operating in China for decades and has shipped thousands of lithography machines, large and small, to meet domestic chip manufacturing needs. However, ASML is frequently subject to US rules and cannot normally conduct all business in the mainland. The Chinese company officially announced that it proposed a plan that if the equipment cannot be used, the supplier will have to buy it back, which is only fair. Foreign media, ASML patent rights may not be maintained. ASML is in the center of the vortex of chip competition among major powers, and there are too many involuntary choices. Since the lithography machine is the critical moment for exposing the chip pattern, which determines the success or failure of chip manufacturing, and ASML is the world's largest lithography machine manufacturer, it is impossible to stay out of it. No matter how strong ASML is, it can only obey the export control rules implemented by Western countries. Otherwise, ASML will also face difficulties once it loses the technical support from the United States. ASML strongly urged the United States to turn around, emphasizing that doing so would lead to disruption of global supply chains. It is not easy to wake up those who are pretending to be asleep. The United States ignored ASML's advice but joined the Netherlands to continue to expand the scope of restrictions on lithography machines. Starting from September 1st, the export of many mainstream high-end DUV lithography machines of ASML will be restricted, and the lithography machines that can be shipped are still products 10 years ago. Once the rules are implemented, ASML's market competitiveness will be greatly weakened. It is not only ASML that is affected, but Chinese companies will also be unable to purchase ASML equipment, which will affect the normal pace of chip production. If the Dutch restriction rules include after-sales service, even the purchased equipment may not be able to be used in chip manufacturing. Then wouldn't the lithography machine that the customer spent a lot of money to buy become scrap iron. Therefore, the Chinese company proposed a plan. According to Yangtze River Storage, if the equipment cannot be used, the supplier will have to buy it back, which is only fair. In the chip industry, it is not common to buy back equipment. Once the product is shipped, it is basically fixed on the production line. Moreover, some large-scale equipment is difficult to install. It is the equipment that comes first, and then the subsequent factory facilities. It is difficult to install equipment, and it is even more difficult to remove equipment. Therefore, in a chip production line, unless the equipment is seriously damaged or has reached the end of its service life, the equipment will not be removed. However, if the equipment cannot enjoy after-sales service, if a failure occurs, you can only watch the equipment shut down, and the loss is not small. The repurchase is proposed to stop the loss in time. If this plan is really popular in China, and let ASML repurchase the lithography machines purchased in China, what impact will it have on ASML? Some foreign media said, ASML's patent rights may not be maintained. Because the repurchase of lithography machines involves technology transfer and intellectual property issues. If ASML buys back the lithography machine and resells it to other customers, this may lead to the leakage of technology and patents. Once the technology and patents are leaked, 
Other companies may acquire ASML's technology and intellectual property rights, thereby reducing ASML's competitive advantage and the value of patent rights. Relying on the advantages of patented technology, ASML has the core voice in the industry. If other manufacturers obtain these technologies, the advantages established by ASML will be broken. In addition, the buyback of a large number of lithography opportunities is putting pressure on ASML's financial situation. Lithography machines are ASML's core product, and their sales are critical to the company's revenue and profits. If ASML is required to repurchase a large number of lithography machines, this will cause the company to pay a huge repurchase fee, which will have a negative impact on the company's cash flow and profits. Regardless of ASML's outstanding performance for several consecutive quarters, net sales and net profit have been stable at a high level. But if ASML really needs to spend a huge amount of money to buy back equipment, I am afraid it will not be able to bear it. Of course, repurchasing equipment is only a discussion of possibilities. During the decades of ASML's operation in China, it has shipped thousands of lithography machines, large and small. In the second quarter of this year alone, ASML delivered 27 lithography equipment to the mainland, which are distributed in the production lines of major domestic chip manufacturers. If you want to dismantle it, you have to shut down the entire production line, which will seriously affect the operation of the business and cause unnecessary financial expenses. Therefore, repurchasing equipment is not beneficial to any party, paying for it with one hand and delivering it with one hand. As a top-level industrial product, lithography machines are worth tens of millions to hundreds of millions. From manufacturing to sales, Every link involves a large amount of capital flow. If it is not handled properly, it will easily lead to the collapse of the global chip supply chain and the breakdown of the capital chain. So the best situation is that ASML guarantees after-sales service. Since the equipment is delivered to the customer, it has to be responsible to the end. For those devices that have been ordered but not yet delivered, ASML must also actively promote production to ensure that customer needs are met. The United States should make the most changes. The United States is the root of all problems. If the United States can correct its mistakes in time, many problems can be solved. ASML does not need to buy back equipment, and Chinese manufacturers can also promote chip production normally. The industry prospect a thriving. If you agree with the point of view of this video, please like it, welcome to forward, leave a message and share.